Hello everybody! In this video we're gonna talk about all the gaming series products that will arrive soon on our screens. We'll see which platform will host your favorite games such as Netflix, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime and more. All the projects that we're gonna talk about right now are officials, but there are still some rumors we will talk about everything. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to like it, to follow, and if you wanna have more fun, you can visit me on my Twitch channel, the link is on the description. And now, let's start for the first adaptation of this video. The first adaptation we're gonna talk about now is Twisted Middle from the PlayStation game series by Toys for Bob and Activision. It will be adapted on Peacock, a new platform launched on April 2020. It belongs to NBC Universal, and on this platform you will be able to see the new adaptation of The Bella Prince 2. The main actor will be Anthony Mackie, and you know him for his role on the MC Universe as Falcon. The story will be about a man, John Doe, and he has to deliver a package in the middle of the desert. His reward will be a better life. The problem is that in the desert, there are a lot of savage people in vehicles who will try to stop him, especially a weird clown on an ice cream truck. Apparently, this show will be an action comedy, it will be something between Zombieland and Mad Max. And for those who don't know this game, it is the longest running exclusive video game series on PlayStation and 7 of the 8 games in the series have been re-released in Sony's greatest hits collection. Let's talk about now the series that will arrive on Apple TV. It will be two anime series and the first one will be Crash Bandicoot. The name of it will be The Adventures of Crash Bandicoot. Apparently the series will be for kids and it will be produced by Activision Blizzard Studios, Sony Picture Studios and the French Studio Team 2. Unfortunately we don't have any more information yet. The second series to arrive on Apple TV is another big hit from the PlayStation history. It is Spyro, and the name will be Spyro The Dragon's Guide to Treasure Hunting. And as for Crash, it will be a show for kids produced by Apple Studios, Activision Blizzard Studios, Jija Bros, and The Volta, which is a Canadian studio. And as for Crash, unfortunately, we don't have any more details to share for now. Let's talk about the adaptation that will arrive on HBO. I'm talking about The Last of Us from Naughty Dog Studios. It is a big production because on it you will find Carol and Strauss, who is known for her work on Game of Thrones, the Naughty Dog co presidents Evan Weld and Nal Rickman, and the director will be Craig Mazin, who is known for his work on Chernobyl. The music of this series will be realized by Gustavo Santaolada, who made the music for the games. And as for the cast, we will find Pedro Pascal as Joel, known for his work on Mandalorian, and Bella Ramsey will incarnate Eli, and she is known for her work on Game of Thrones. The theory will follow the scenario of the first game, which means the encounter of Joel and Eli and their journey crossing the USA 20 years after the spread of a virus. The series should offer cut moments from the game and also offer new ones. The season will have only 10 episodes and it will be one episode per week. The amount of money used for this production is around 200 million of dollars. And last thing about this one, it was initially planned for 2022 and now it will arrive in 2023, but we don't have any specific date. What about the little mouth now? What are they going to do? Well, on Disney Plus, the only thing that I can tell you right now is a rumor and nothing official. Apparently, Disney is working on a new Assassin's Creed film. It will be a fresh start from the first one. That will involve new story, new casting and new context. The first movie was a total failure and I think it is totally understandable to try something new in the condition to not repeat the mistake they made for the first one. And like I said, it is only a rumor, so we'll have to wait to see if there is something behind it. Unfortunately, except of that, nothing is planned for Disney+. Plus. We are now arriving to the second biggest platforms in terms of gaming adaptation projects. I'm talking about Amazon Prime with five of them. First one is Fallout by Bethesda Studios and the project was announced in July 2020. What we know about this series is that Graham Wagner and Geneva Robertson Dwarrett were selected to serve as showrunners. Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy, the creators of the Westworld series, will be producer. Jonathan Nolan, which is Christopher's brother, will be in charge of directing the first episode. The main actor of the show will be Walton Goggins, which is known for his work on Django Unchained. And Fallout is set 
in a retro-futuristic world that has been devastated by a global war nuclear war. Apparently, Goggins will be a ghoul in the series, but there is no confirmation about it. And finally, like a lot of projects, I don't have any specific date for a release to tell you about. The second project to arrive on Amazon Prime will be the adaptation of the game Life is Strange by Dotnot Entertainment, Deck9 and Square Enix. The project was announced on February 2022 by their production company DJ2 Entertainment. It is very recent but we are certain that the show will arrive on the platform. We don't have any details on it, but the only thing that I can tell you right now is that the music should be realized by Shawn Mendes. The third gaming adaptation to arrive on Amazon Prime, which was also announced by DJ2 Entertainment on February 2022, is the adaptation of the game Disco Elysium. Unfortunately, we don't have any information to share. The only thing that I can tell you right now is that DJ2 Entertainment is the company behind the two Sonic movies. The next adaptation that we are going to talk about now is the 2021 game of the year It Takes Two by Otherwise Studios other film. Beyond it, it's once again DJ2 Entertainment, which announced the project on February 2022. What we know about is that Dwayne Johnson will be the producer and perhaps actor in the film itself. And as for the synopsis, it will most likely be the same as the game, which means that we will have the story of May and Cody, two adults which are going to divorce. They will be trapped inside doll bodies due to an accidental spell cast by their own daughter. The scenario should be written by Pat Cathy and Josh Miller, who wrote the scenarios for the Sonic movies. And Joseph Farris, director of Adelaide Studio and creator of the game, should also be heavily involved in the project. Other than those informations, we will have to wait to have more details to share. The last project to arrive on Amazon Prime will be the adaptation of God of War, the game by Santa Monica Studios. The producer will be Mark Fergus and Hulk Osby, and Rev Jenkins, which is known for his work on The Wheel of Time, will be the showrunner. It is a huge opportunity for Prime because God of War is one of the most famous and beloved series for PlayStation players. We will have to wait to share more details about this one. Well, let's talk about now the leader of the gaming project adaptation. I'm talking about Netflix. The first project will be The Witcher Blood Origin from The Witcher Universe. The Witcher with Henry Cavill became the door for starting productions due to his big success and the project was announced in June 2020. And as for the cast, we know that there will be the presence of the super agent star Mitchell Yu. The directors will be Vicky Jolson and Sarah O'Gorman. The story will be a prequel from the original one and it will take place a thousand and two hundred years before it. It will only have six episodes and it will be about the operation of the first Witcher and the fusion between the world of men, elves and monsters. The show should arrive this year and we will have to wait for a specific date release. The next project we're going to talk about on Netflix will be an anime theory based on the game Splinter Cell by Ubisoft. It was announced in July 2020 and it will be an animation series for adults directed by John Wick author Derek Colstead. For the theory, apparently two seasons have been already ordered with 16 episodes. Other than that, we don't have anything to say, unfortunately, we will have to wait for more news. Another anime series that should arrive on September this year is Cyberpunk 2077 Edge Runner. It was announced in June 2020 and it will be a partnership between Netflix and the Japanese animation studio Trigger. The theory will be realized by Hiroyuki Imaishi, which is known for his work on Kill la Kill, and the story is about a street kid which is trying to survive in a city of the future obsessed with technology and body modification. He will decide to become an edge runner, which is an outlaw mercenary also known as Cyberpunk. The last thing that I can tell you is that the theory will have 10 episodes. Next project we're going to talk about now is from a game we already talked about earlier. It is Assassin's Creed. Just before Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Netflix and Ubisoft announced their collaboration in October 2020. It will be around three projects, one love action theory, will real actors, one anime theory and one anime film. 
we don't know anything about those projects except that Jeff Stewart will be the showrunner for the live action series and we will have to wait to share more details. Now we are going to talk about the most famous female explorator on the gaming universe. I'm talking about Tom Raider. The project was announced in January 2021 and it will be an anime theory in collaboration between Netflix and with Powerhouse Studio, the studio behind the anime Castlevania. What we know about it is that it will continue the story of the last game made by Crystal Dynamics and the last episode of this trilogy was Shadow of the Tomb Raider and we will have to wait for more details to share with you all. Netflix and Ubisoft seems to be in real good terms because the platform will adapt other games from the studio. Beyond Good and Evil are the film and it was announced in July 2020. There are not a lot of things to say about it except that it should be realized by Rob Letterman, the mind behind the film Detective Pikachu. And apparently the film will follow the adventures of Jade and Paige, the heroes of the first office. And that's all for this one. The next project is also an adaptation from Ubisoft Studios. It will be a film about the game The Division announced in June 2019. And it will be realized by Rolf and Marshall Thorber. Jake Gyllenhaal and Jessica Shaston will be on the film. The story will be about the first game, which took place in New York. A strange virus spread through banknotes and it killed millions of people during Black Friday. It is then that our protagonists go into action to save the remains of the city and its inhabitants, and there is no specific date of a release for now. The next adaptation we're gonna talk about now is from a famous game, Resident Evil. I am talking about the Resident Evil live action theory that's arriving on July 14 this year. The story will take place in 2036 in a world ravaged by a pandemic who turned the population into zombies angry for human flesh. There, a young woman is struggling for her own survival as a nebulous past gradually coming back to surface. This show was realized by Andrew Dab, which is known for his work on Supernatural, and as for the casting, we will have Lance Reddick, Ella Belinska, Tamara Smart, and Paola Nunez as main characters. In July 2021, a project by one of the biggest franchises ever was announced to arrive on Netflix, a Pokemon live-action theory. It will be like the film Pokemon Detective Pikachu, and unfortunately we don't know anything about the fact that Lucifer's showrunner, Joy Anderson, was cast as writer and executive producer. And in February 2022, Netflix, 2K Games and Take-Two announced their collaboration on a Bioshock project. The Bioshock Games series is famous and very appreciated by a lot of players, and like the Pokemon theory, we don't know anything about it for now. And finally, recently, PlayStation and Netflix announced their collaboration on the theory about the game Horizon Zero Dawn. We've seen official projects incoming on Netflix, but there are two rumors about adaptations that I wanted to talk to you about. The first one, it's about Dishonored and it started since August 2021, the game by Arkane Studio and Bethesda. It will be a series adaptation and you can make a comparison on this project to the Witcher project. And of course, even if it's a rumor, Dishonored was an amazing game for a lot of people, so that could be an amazing experience to see it in live. And the second one is even bigger, it is the rumor about the legendary game The Elder Scrolls Online by Bethesda and it all started since January 2021. Like Dishonored, it will also be a theory, but since that we know there is a Fallout series in production for Prime and it's been a lot of time since, there was nothing else to say about this one. We've seen a lot of theories that will arrive on our screen, but there are some movies too. The first one we're gonna talk about now will be the adaptation of the game Jack and Dexter, and it is planned to arrive on 2023, and it will be realized by Ruben Fleischer. The second one will be a movie about Goth of Tsushima, one of the PlayStation Studios game, and it will be realized by Shad Stolsky, the director from the saga of John Wick. And also, Sony Pictures just announced they found their writer, and it will be Takashi Dosher, the man behind the movies, still and only. The last movie we're gonna talk about now 
has been announced very recently by Sony and it will be a film about Gran Turismo. It will be realized by Neil Blomkamp, the man behind the film District 9, and it will be released in August the Hell events in 2023. So, what is the story about this film? It is based on a true story. The film is the ultimate wish fulfillment tale of a teenage Gran Turismo player whose gaming skills won a series of Nissan competitions to become an actual professional race car driver. And we will have to wait to get more details about this film. We've seen that all the platforms are starting to adapt games for themselves, especially since the huge success from the Witcher adaptation on Netflix. And even though you can see that Prime, for example, is adding game to its productions, Netflix is by far the first platform to adapt gaming content in series, films or anime and it's not gonna stop. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if that's the case, don't hesitate to like it and to follow. <laughs> if you wanna have more fun, you can find me on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday. No. You have the link in the description. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video and in the meantime, take care of you all.